Bula, Malame, Talofa, and welcome to Season 7, Episode 9, 8, 7, 7 of Breakfast Bites by TeoVersports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People Sports News on a bright and sunny Sunday morning, 8th October 2023. Coming to you with tons of anisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Results from the last round of pool games at the Rugby World Cup 2023 in France. Samoa just went down to England, 17-18 in Lille. Wales trashed uh, Georgia, 43-19. France, of course, 60 over Italy, 7. And New Zealand, 73-0 over Uruguay. Ireland and Scotland are playing at the moment, with Ireland just in front. So, the Rugby World Cup 2023 quarterfinalists so far are Wales, France and New Zealand, confirmed. Tomorrow it's Japan versus Argentina in Nantes, followed by Tonga tackling uh, Romania in Lille, and at 7am in Toulouse, the Flying Fijians grapple with Portugal. Wales has qualified top of pool C for the quarterfinals. Fiji needs to one point against Portugal to confirm second place. And uh, if Fiji gets no points from the match, Australia will qualify for the quarterfinals as runner-up. In Rugby League, on behalf of WWE, congratulations to the Penrith Panthers once again winning the NRL Premiership. That's three in a row. The three-peat is complete. You are the undisputed champion of the NRL. With such a historic achievement, the WWE thought we need to do something really special for such a historic team. So what we've done is we're going out there and uh, got the first ever custom-bladed NRL WWE championship belt, especially for the boys. It's on its way to you lads now. Uh, Australian WWE star, superstar, Grayson Waller. The Dally M, 5'8 of the year, Isra Mam, is set to stay at Red Hill in a huge uh, boost for the Broncos, with the Courier Mail reporting that uh, Mam has been offered a new four-year deal at Australian $750,000 a season up from the $250,000 this year. In football, latest EPL results. Tottenham 1, Luton 0. Chelsea 4, Burnley 1. Um, and uh, Everton 3, Bournemouth 0. Fulham 3, Sheffield United 1. And Man U 2-1 over Brentford. Scott McTominay was asked what his manager had said to him as he prepared to come on as an 87th minute substitute against Brentford. It was very loud, said the midfielder. The fans were roaring on us on, so I couldn't hear fully. He probably said something like, go on and score. Informed of this, half an hour later, Eric Ten Hag couldn't resist an amused smile. McTominay was wrong. I said, score two goals, said the Dutchman. Scott McTominay's introduction was the last desperate throw of the dice as United were about to suffer their third home defeat in a week. Uh, and ex uh, Sorry, third home defeat and experience um, three home league losses in a row for the first time since 1977. McTominay scored two in sc uh, stoppage time for, for the 2-1 win. In combat sports, top U.S. promoter Bob Arum says that the Gypsy King could make U.S. $200 million after it was announced that Tyson Fury and uh, Alexander Yuzik have agreed terms to put all their world heavyweight titles on the line in a fight in Saudi Arabia just before Christmas this year. Finally, our sports biz tribute to MJ. Michael Jordan is now worth US $4.7 billion, 
ranking him as one of America's 400 richest people. Now 60, MJ first stepped onto an NBA court in 1984 as a 21-year-old rookie, and over 15 NBA seasons earned US $94 million. But his lifetime product sponsorship deals with the likes of McDonald's, Gatorade, uh, Gatorade, and Nike set the platform for superstar athletes today. His latest yearly royalty check from Nike raked in US $260 million. In August, MJ sold his majority stake in the Charlotte Hornets for US $3 billion, the second highest sale price in NBA history and more than 17 times the team's value when he purchased it in 2010. The sale makes Jordan the first ever athlete to make the Forbes 400 richest people in the US. Only three professional athletes have ever become billionaires. Michael Jordan, back in 2014, followed by LeBron James and Tiger Woods. And that's a wrap. For TableForSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.